Hello happy people, this is your host Crypto Puffy and today we are going to discuss about Moak or mother of all chains. What is Moak? Why it's so important that it's worth talking about it in our show? Stick with me for the next few minutes and you are going to see by yourself. Meanwhile, don't forget to smash that like button, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that small bell, the notification button and don't forget to leave me a comment together with your ERC20 address so you can be part of my daily giveaway okay cool talking about giveaway let's see who won my last giveaway who is the lucky winner okay guys so the giveaway today is going to be paid in uh, nova tokens for those of you who do not know about nova chain platform the price is around one dollars the token is tradable in their internal exchange and you will need to create an account go to novachain.cc and create a new account okay so uh, you hit get started and you make a new account if you don't know how to do that check out my series of nova chain videos you are going to have you are going to find everything there for you so nova let's take the address from here stop this Put the new address 86 commenters start Rudy Fork well done awesome video and his ERC20 congrats Rudy let's send you the money baby cool let's go back to Moak mother of all chains what is Moak? Moak is a multi-layer blockchain architecture for commercial applications. In other words, basically, it's a platform dedicated to service big-scale applications via the multi-layered blockchain. It's a blockchain 3.0 uh, architecture. Basically, after Bitcoin, who was 1.0, and Ethereum, who was 2.0, now we have other applications like um, Ada, Cardano or EOS who are blockchain 3.0 and Moak is also one of those applications types. Cool! Let's see a little bit about Moak. Okay, we have basically three elements that makes them better than competition. Okay, it's basically an advancing performance for enhanced smart contracting. They excel through scalability because they have the blockchain sharding. They, have, they excel through independence via the microchain smart contract and interop interoperability, interoperability via the cross-chain capabilities. And let's discuss a little bit about each of those. Okay. But meanwhile, let's discuss a little bit about the roadmap. Okay. So uh, let's uh, try to take it from the start. It goes by itself. So July 20, in January 20, uh, 2017, the project started. In July, they started and finished the ICO, more than $6 million. They started a testnet in November 2017. In 2018, they have uh, the token and the wallet in uh, February. Then uh, they have 20 dApps live performance testing in, uh, uh, before December. In December, what? Oh, come on. I can't. <laughs> I can't keep up with them. So I was uh, back, let's say, where we were. Okay. We have the Pangu release in March 2018, Microchain Online, POS Microchain Model Online, uh, and Mining on Vnode and CSC Open. As I said, in June 2018, we have 20 DApps Live. Okay. The NUWA release in December 2018. And we have in 2019, 100 plus DApps Live that is going to be released and Fuxi Relix 500 plus life after that. Okay, I hope I managed to catch all of them. We have also the white paper that we are going to discuss in a bit. As you can see, the site, the website itself is very well done, is very nice, is a very nice graphic. So you can see that uh, the people behind them are professionals. And don't forget if the project attracts you 
Don't forget to subscribe to their community channels. They have GitHub, Twitter, Telegram, Medium, Facebook, Telegram China, Reddit. Let's take a look uh, at the uh, token because as I told you, it's already launched. Let's check the coin market cap. At this moment, the price is $0.84. It's a little bit decreased, but it's not, you know, very strange due to the latest dump of the crypto market. Okay, market cap total 52.7 million US dollars at this moment. Circulating supply 62.4, almost 5 million MOAC. And the total supply is uh, 151,205,864 MOAC. Daily volume 41,813 US dollars. In this moment, in this moment, uh, they are on the 78th place in top 100, so not a bad place. They are already released in two exchanges, CoinBene and BitZ. Most of the volumes are in uh, CoinBene. And let's take a look at the graphics. As you can see, they had the ICO in July 2017. And starting from that moment, they went from $60, more or less $16, more or less, down to $0.84 at this moment. If you take into account the technology, which is very, very advanced, I think that this can be a sleeper, ladies and gentlemen. It can be a very, very good investment for the future, for the next few years. Cool, let's take a look at the roadmap, sorry. Okay, so the white paper, this is the release from April 2018, is already updated. And as I told you before, it covers, this project covers three very important aspects. Security, scalability and decentralization. All those are uh, very important for the blockchain technology. And until now, most of the crypto tokens that have been uh, or uh, crypto uh, programs and platforms that have been released they do not cover all three of them as you can see here in this graphic ethereum uh, are very well on with security and decentralization but they have problem from uh, scalability on the scalability uh, uh, site eos are very good on security and scalability but they have problems with the decentralization they are too centralized and Moak, it seems that they can be, you know, they can excel in all three of these uh, these fields. Let's say, okay, this is the architecture of the blockchain. Basically, they start with a global mother chain, a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, communication layer, and a micro chain smart contract. The global mother chain is a lower layer that defines the behavior of the control flows of multiple micro chains, including flashing, rewarding miners, and how to punish bad actors. It provides a flexible environment, enabling DApps to use different kinds of user defined VMs. The micro chain is the upper, upper layer of uh, the micro chain smart contract, is a mock protocol based contract for defining consensus systems within a microchain, which also enables nodes to register into mining pools. And the peer-to-peer -peer layer is a communication layer between single or group of clients nodes that are responsible for transactions or DAP communication. So this is basically the simple, the simple structure of the uh, multi-layer uh, blockchain, which is MOAC. And this is basically a cooperation between uh, the features of MOAC and any other uh, very important uh, tokens, uh, which is Ethereum uh, 1.0, Ethereum 2.0, EOS, ADA, slash Cardano, NEO, and uh, ICON. And you can see MOAC is either, you know, affirmative, they have these features, or they beat all, other, all others through uh, quantity. For example, the system transactions per second, it reach 100,000, it can reach 100,000, which is almost the same as Ethereum 2.0 that is going to be released in fall 2019. So they already have it. Okay, let's take a look a little bit also at the team behind uh, behind this project. So um, we have uh, Shazu, 
which is the founder. Mr. Shazu founded Mohawk Foundation in 2017. Have, uh, before that, he has led and backed multiple high tech companies focusing on blockchain, VR, and robotic engineer. Okay. The portfolio companies that Shah invested and manages includes Jingtum Tech, Outpost, Tersus, Wellwit, Robotics, and etc. etc. And he is also um, an author of uh, several books about blockchain and big da data, such as Blockchain World and Blockchain and Big Data. Okay. The CEO and co founder is David Xiao Chen, which is a blockchain theorist and cross domain software engineer, architect with ex extensive experience. And basically, he has built his career in Silicon Valley for decades as an, active, uh, as an executive technologist. Okay. The CTO is uh, Jingle Yang, I hope I pronounced correctly, uh, who has uh, last five years experience in blockchain development. And the executive director is Ryan Wang, who speaks worldwide on technology and investment topics. He currently oversees companies in the US and greater China looking for unique and connected insights that could help launch technologies between both markets. Cool. Let's go back to the main website. So guys, uh, this is everything that I can tell you in a few words only about Mohawk. If you think that this is, uh, this is a technology that could interest you, I suggest that you read the white paper in more details. You will have everything you need to know about this technology and how the people behind it are experienced and they want to uh, launch it on the market. Basically, you have everything you need to know to make your own due diligence. Cool. So thank you very much for staying with me up to this point. I hope you like this video. If you like this video or if you found it inter interesting, please don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to leave me a comment with your ERC20 address on it in order to be able to participate on my next giveaway. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye.